First thing, is just make sure your USB cable is connected to your OLM3, and that the laser cutter is turned on. In this video, I will show you how to set up Lightburn, so you can connect to your OLM3 through Wi-Fi, rather than using the USB cable. As you can see the OLM3 is currently connected to Lightburn, using the USB cable, on COM3. Now click on the console tab, so we can go check what version of firmware, that is running on our OLM3. Next move your mouse cursor over the device button, and right click the mouse. This will restart the laser, and we will be able to check the firmware version in the console. Now look at the console screen, and look for the variable, OLF colon, as the number after this is the current firmware version that your machine is running. You need to be running the newest firmware for this to work. As you can see I am running the latest release of 2.07 firmware. If you have an older version you need to go the Auto website and download and install it, before going forward. It would be wise to visit the Auto website and check, and install the most current version, as of now you need at least 2.07 for this to work. If your firmware version is correct, then we can move on to adding the your Wi-Fi SSID to Lightburn. So I will check what Wi-Fi SSID that my Windows laptop is currently connected to. As you can see the name of the SSID is Blockchain. Now let's move back up to the console window where I will enter in my Wi-Fi SSID which is Blockchain. On the console, I will type in variable $74 equals blockchain. The SSID is case sensitive and must be spelled exactly the same. So you will need to type in the name of your SSID network where I typed in mine, which was blockchain. Then hit enter. Next I will enter my Wi-Fi SSID password into Lightburn by adding this variable. $75 equals Betty2160. Again, this is case sensitive. So just enter your Wi-Fi SSID password into Lightburn and save it by hitting the enter key. Now we just need to enter the command $WRS on the command line as this will reset and load the new Wi-Fi settings that we entered. Now look into the console window and copy the get IP, which mine is 192.168.86.59. I would write this down on a piece of paper. Next go down and left click on the device button and select your OLM3 from the device list and click edit. Then select your laser controller and click next then select Ethernet or TCP and click on next. Now this is where you will enter the IP address that we wrote down earlier. If you copied it to the clipboard, just right click the mouse and paste it. Just double check that everything looks correct, then click next. Then click next and then click finish. Then finally click OK as we are almost done. Now the laser will reset and Lightburn should connect to the OLM3 through the Wi-Fi connection. If you scroll down and look at the devices button, you should see your laser there as the drop down menu with the COM port will be gone. The laser should say ready, if everything worked correctly. At this point you can remove the USB cable, and let's try to cut something over the Wi-Fi connection. So let's load a project, and do our first test burn, and let's see if it works. As you can see no USB cable attached. It looks like everything is working, but I need to test and see if it will drop the connection during burning or engraving. The question is, how reliable is it? But I guess I will find out very soon. One issue I did have was when I restarted the laser, it did not connect. So I went into my Google Wi-Fi router and assigned that IP address that we wrote down earlier and made it static, so it does not change, as I think that is what the problem was. Also my Google Wi-Fi router is here, in my garage, 
so I should not have a connectivity issue, so I am hoping this works out well. Stay tuned and keep on burning.